What's up everybody, my name is Matt, aka The Constant, and in this video I'll be going over all the Fortnite Season 7 NPC locations and what they do. At the beginning of Season 7 I prioritized other informational videos such as all the rare quests and milestones you can unlock this season, as well as achievements. If you guys haven't seen those videos already, definitely check them out in the description below. But now it's finally time to discover all the NPCs and what they do. If you guys are excited, leave a like on the video and consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. Because we're on road to 4,000 subscribers. Subscribers, your help is greatly appreciated. Big thank you to everyone showing support on the channel. You guys are all amazing. There are currently 17 NPCs in the game, and I'm going to show you guys where to find all of them. All right, so to begin, we're going to start from the south side of the map and work our way up north. All right, for some reason, he wasn't appearing in Battle Labs. So this is Bunker Jonesy right here, and this is what he offers. Activate a rift. He can give you bandages. You're able to get search chests or ammo boxes, or you can visit Corny Complex for 80 gold. And this is where we are on the map over here to the south side of Misty Meadows. NPC number two is Swamp Stalker, and this is what she offers. You're able to do these for bars. You could either hunt wildlife or fish at fishing holes. You could buy floppers, you could buy nuts and bolts, or you could buy some wood, which is definitely a ripoff. Either way, this is where you can find her on the map to the south side of Slurpy Swamps, somewhere over in this vicinity. All right, NPC number three is going to be found to the bridge east of Misty Meadows. Oh my goodness, and he's going to shoot you when you approach him. All right, here we go. Let's take him out first. There we go. So first off, he'll drop a purple heavy assault rifle, which is awesome. And here is Riot, and this is what he offers. You can either do these two quests, which are eliminations, or collect different weapon types. Or you could purchase the exotic Storm Scout Sniper. It's back in the game. Or you can do a mass supply drop. Once you activate a mass supply drop, you'll see about five supply drops just pop up on the map randomly. So it's an awesome thing to do if you have the gold. And again, this is where we are on the map to the east of Misty Meadows. Now, NPC number four is at a pretty cool location. This IO. Hello there, Llama. This is what we thought was the IO base, but we see IO markings crossed out over there, and we also see the alien symbol over the IO symbol. Either way, this is special forces, and this is what he offers. You can either do assault rifle damage or assault rifle eliminations for gold. You could purchase a submachine gun from him. You're able to hire him, or you're able to duel him for the submachine gun. Definitely an interesting NPC, and this is where you can find him on the map to the east side of Caddy Corner at this redacted location. Next up over here is Marigold, and this is what she offers. You could either do mod a vehicle or damage while in a vehicle for gold bars. You could buy nuts and bolts and you could call in a mass supply drop. And this is where you can find her on the map in Lazy Lake to the southeast side at this pool house in Lazy Lake. All right, next we are gonna visit Abstract over here at the back next to this graffiti. Hello, Abstract. You can find Abstract to the north kind of east side of Retail Row right over here on the map. And this is what he does. You can either do the SMG damage or SMG eliminations quest for gold gold. You could buy the Marsman six shooter, the exotic one right here, or you could turn into a prop. Next up on the list, we got big Rick over here. All right. And here he is Rick Sanchez. And this is what he offers. You could either do destroy slurp barrels for gold, purchase some nuts and bolts, purchase some bandages, or you could activate a rift. And this is where you can find him on the map to the east side of Weeping Woods over on this big hill. All right. Next NPC is dream flower over here at this little house. Hello, dream flower and this is what she offers use bandages or med kits or emo at different name locations for gold you're able to purchase some shield potions from her as well you could also give the bus driver a very large tip or you can heal up if you need some healing just for clarification when you tip the bus driver a small tip your name will appear in the kill feed for all to see just saying that you tipped the bus driver when you give a large tip to the bus driver your name will also pop up in the kill feed saying that you generously tip the bus driver and then you'll hear the horn of the battle bus either way it's a whole lot of gold and it doesn't do too much for you but the bus driver does deserve a tip now and then also you can find dream flower right over here on the map at this pond to the east the northeast of holly hedges next up we have rook however and we're gonna find her over here at this io base to the west of dirty docks you can normally find her over to the east side up here at the top hello rook and this is what she offers you could collect snipers or do sniper damage for gold you could buy a sniper from her you're able to buy some 50 pots from her or you could call in a mass supply drop 
drop. All right, next up, we are heading on over to Dirty Docks to visit our NPC friend, Joey. Here he is, and you normally find Joey over here on the west side of Dirty Docks. And this is what he offers. You could either do shotgun damage or shotgun eliminations for gold. You're able to purchase a scar from him, or you're able to activate a prop disguise. And just to note, if an NPC sells a weapon, the rarity of that weapon might change around from game to game. So next game, he might sell a purple scar or maybe even a blue AR. Next up, you know him, you love him, and for some reason, he's not appearing in Battle Labs at the moment. It is Bush Ranger. This is what he offers. Consume foraged items, use a campfire for gold. You could buy bananas, or you could turn into a prop. And this is where you can find him on the map to the west of Risky Reels, normally right over here on the map. Quick little break right here. If you guys are enjoying the video and you guys would like to support me, you guys can always use code the constant, all one word, in the Fortnite item shop. A big thank you to everyone using my code. You guys are all awesome. It's absolutely free. Doesn't cost you guys anything. And if you guys aren't already supporting a creator, definitely make sure you do so. All right, back to the video. Next up, we got ourselves Dr. Sloan at Corny Complex. We are going in. Be careful, though. IO guards are everywhere. When you arrive at Corny Complex, you want to go to the red barn right over here. And if you do that, there are a couple different ways to get down to the basement of this barn. There's a staircase over there. There's this entrance right over here that we're going to go down right now. But go on down to the bottom and you will find Dr. Sloan. Where is she? There she is. She's going to engage you and turn into three of her. So definitely be careful when you're engaging with her. You got to take down the real one. We just got to figure out which one that actually is. Took them out. Good stuff. So Sloan doesn't offer anything but pain and her weapons. Right here, she dropped a recon scanner, but this is the mythic that she drops. This is not a small shield potion. Sloan's pulse rifle over here. When you aim down sight with it, it shoots kind of slow like that, but when you don't aim down sight, it'll do this. Our next NPC is Hayseed over here. He has taken over the farm. Hello, Hayseed. And this is what he offers. Collect corn or harvest materials for gold. You're able to turn into a prop disguise or he will heal you. And this is where you can find him on the map over to the northeast of Corny Complex on the map. For our next NPC, we're heading on over to the beach, Believer Beach to be exact. And over here, normally on the boardwalk or the pier, you see Sunny right here. Sunny, I'm behind you. And this is what she offers. You're either able to fly UFO for some gold buy a pump from her you're able to tip the bus driver a small tip or a large tip and this is where you can find her on the map at believer beach normally on the boardwalk over here next up another io base and we have ourselves the maven npc what did that bush ever do to you anyway this is the io base that you can see her at right over here to the east of craggy cliffs and to the west of steamy stacks and this is what she offers you could either do shake down opponents or craft an item for gold bars buy a pistol from her buy an exact Exotic shadow tracker from her. I love that weapon. Or you're able to reveal future storm circles. And last, but certainly not least, we have ourselves Googiemon. He is still absolutely terrifying. You can find him over here on the map. Where are you? Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. Wait a second. There you are. That's right. So when you eliminate Googiemon, he will drop you a scar, which is absolutely awesome. And this is what he has to offer. You can either collect fireflies or ignite structures with fire for gold. Buy the exotic Nighthawk. You're able to tip the bus driver a small or a large tip. And this is where you can find Googiemon at the top of the map over here by the lighthouse. Now, I know what you're thinking, Matt. That was only 16 NPCs. You said there were 17. That is absolutely correct. And there is one NPC that is not in the game yet, and that is Chimera. It is said he's going to be over here here at Coral Castle, and he's probably not in the game right now because he sells something that's not in the game yet. We should expect Chimera really soon, but I can't wait to see what he sells and what he will do in the world of Fortnite. Either way, those are all the NPCs currently in the files for Fortnite Season 7. If you guys enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please leave a like and consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. We are on the road to 4,000 subscribers. Your help is greatly appreciated. Big thank you to everyone showing support on the channel. You guys are all amazing. Let me know down below which NPC is your favorite this season so far. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.